Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen, Kazudu here, back with some more Crusader Kings 2. Last time we left off, we were just planning on going to war with this massive empire, uh, the Seljuk Empire. And if I click on, ah, uh, here we go, the war score, we can see the guy we're at war with is Sultan Alp Arslan. Arslan, yeah. And I've never played a kingdom quite as big as the Byzantine Empire. And they are, on the grand scheme of things, quite high up there compared to something like Leon or Ireland. They're still kind of a big power. And this was the time, I believe, that they got destroyed. And I'd like to see if I can prevent that from happening. Now, what am I supposed to be doing here? I don't want to offer peace. I guess I, I literally just want Armenia. So it must just be one province here that I don't have. If I can click on, let's see, which one is Armenia? It's got to be around here, right? Edessa, Aintab, Amida, Nizbin, Kurdistan. I expect to see Kazakhstan here soon enough, but I don't really know. I don't know where Armenia is, unless this whole thing is Armenia. Oh, you know what? There's probably a du jour view here. Du jour, of course, remember, it means uh, to see what we should have. Here we go. Du jour duchies. I bet you Armenia is in here somewhere. Yes, here we go. Uh, it sort of looks like I have Armenia. So what's the problem here? Um, I don't... I guess I'm supposed to be... Yeah. Does your kingdoms... Oh, the kingdom... Oh, Armenia is a kingdom. Look at this. Greece, Anatolia. Byzantine shouldn't even be a thing, but... Arabia, Persia, Kiva, Turkestan, Romania, Perm... France, look at this, did your kingdoms, England, Ireland, Scotland, the three dudes over there, the peanut gallery of, of Europe, actually, you can't have a peanut gallery without some Italians, so. um, okay, so this guy's my ruler, uh, I found out what Ducas meant, I thought that was his weird Byzantine title, no, that's his, that's his lineage. He's from <laughs> House Ducas. I didn't actually expect to see it when saying that, when I'm looking at this. So I can go here, I can see my kids. He has too many kids. Um, but I do already have a chosen heir who's a freaking super ugly 16 year old. Like, I'd sell cigarettes to that guy. He's, he's an ugly dude. But, whatever. I mean, you know, who cares. So this War of Armenia, I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of this thing for now, that's kind of annoying. And I can press de jour du call claims. I'm guessing on, yeah, for Armenia. Uh, I'm going to say dismiss for now. Thank you very much. Gonna get into my independent realm tree. I'm getting a really miserable 14, 12, 10, 11, 10 frames per second here. And that's probably due to my fantastic brand new recording program, Bandicam. This will take a lot less time to transfer over. Am I sounding boring? I think I'm sounding boring. Like, I'm, I'm just droning on and on and on. I'm not sure why. Maybe I should loosen up a bit. That is the point of this series, and at least for me, for you guys, hopefully, it's to enjoy something. But for me, dude, can we get rid of this crud? Uh, for me, the point of this series is to learn how to talk to you guys. I, it's, I, this maybe sounds weird, but when you first start making videos, you're like hyper aware of the fact that you're sitting alone in a room talking into a microphone to yourself. And it's really weird. I'm having to learn, um, how to distance myself from that. Oh, Mysticos! 
That's probably the coolest freaking name I've ever heard, Mysticos. Why isn't Mysticos my Ecclesiarch? Who is this guy? Mysticos is my intrigue dude? Oh, I can handle that. You know, that's something I never did, is, um, get my, this is my council, and get the people on my council busy doing stuff. I, have, I haven't done anything yet. I, I've probably gone a few days, but that's it. I haven't even gotten word back whether or not my allies will join me here. So, oh my god, I thought his name was Procrastinator. It's not, it's Protostrator. Ugh. Magistros. These are freaking cool titles. Oh, titles. What the heck is wrong with me? I thought, the, I thought these were these guys' names. No, titles. No freaking wonder. It's like, oh, that's so cool. Alright, got it. That guy is a Sacularios. Yeah. And Magistros. That's a uh, diplomat. Steward. He freaking hates me. Who can I put in there who maybe doesn't hate me so much? Hmm. We got quite a few people here. You know what I think I might do? Jonas. He holds claims on Thessalonia. Well, okay, Jonas. Wasn't that my. Well, that guy's not my Ecclesiarch. He's. I don't know who that guy is. So this is my court that I'm choosing from. My court, I guess, is just like the people I have dinner with every night. I don't know what the point of them is. But, uh, what, are you kidding me? I have more vassals than I do people in my court? I don't, like, hardly have anybody in my court. Oh, wait, no, not, no, yeah, my court. What the heck? Because there's my council, the most trusted among my court. Freaking helps to have somebody who hates me in my council. That's awesome. Um. Oh god, look at. Oh. Yeah, I guess he would be paying me taxes, wouldn't he? He's like the highest. Dude, he doesn't have an opinion of the Pope because he is. Or he's the ecumenical patriarch. So that's good. I'm always gonna get taxes from this guy. But I think if I were to do something to make him like me more, I would probably get more taxes. Speaking of taxes, what is my income here? This is your personal wealth. Oh, 14.9. That's actually not bad. So, um, I could probably just raise all of my levies. You know what? I'm not going to do my levies just yet. I'm going to go ahead and raise up my own... Oh yeah, levies. Sorry, I was thinking of vassal levies. I'm gonna raise up all my personal levies. Go away. And where did they come from here? Is this you guys? Ooh, nice. Okay, there's two of them here. So far, oh, here we go. 619. Go. Oh my god, I'm so sick of that crud. Go over here, guys. Okay, so I've raised my levies. My people are on their way. Sorry, I'm still kind of a noob at this. Uh, Grigor. Grigor is my leader. I'm kind of wondering. Uh, all right. Well, let's have you guys. Oh, let me try zooming in a little bit more. That might help. Get over here, guys. Come on. Get moving. Chop, 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 tut, tut, hop, hop. That's the one. Hop, hop. <sighs> um. Okay. So I got those guys on the way. Yeah. So I was saying I'm. I'm I need to learn how to get better at talking into the microphone and not be so awkward and hopefully my voice is pleasing to the ears if it's not well unfortunately there's nothing I can do about that that's just my voice um, is there any any intrigue I can do I don't even know what I'm doing what is the point of my existence right now this is something I need to decide it's an existential existential try it again it's an existential question and, you know, it would help if I could say these words correctly. Look, big, vast lands of nothing going on. Absolutely freaking nothing. Look, this probably has like 12 inhabitants. Look at this bunch of crud. Venus simulator. You want to go live on Venus? Go to the desert first. And then stay away from the water. And you'll learn what it's like, sort of, to live on Venus. Except, 
um, your skin won't melt off. That's the only real difference. I actually don't know what it's like to live on Venus. Um, another thing that's interesting is this game is always playing really fantastic music. And I can't be quiet for more than a few seconds at a time, otherwise the video will get flagged. Ooh, brutal. The video will get flagged and I won't get any money for it. So that right there is pretty good incentive to learn how to just sort of keep talking. I don't want to ramble though, that wouldn't be any good. Oh, God, I'm flailing. Let's push play and speed things up. I don't have a plus button. Okay, speed things up a little bit. And uh, we're currently at war. Where are this guy's armies? Oh, here we go. What's this? To the magnificent Basilius Constantinos X. Ah, peace be with you. We unfortunately cannot join your wars at this time. Okay, fine. And over here, what do we have? The Lords of the Ecumenical Patriarchate have approved the institution of the Limited Crown Authority Law. What does that mean? Oh, what has this guy been up to that I haven't been able to control? Laws. Where are laws? Shoot. Limited Crown Authority. Oh, that's actually way better than I expected. And they approved it. Is anybody mad at me for this? Surely I must have some vassals who are not happy with me. So here's my question. How come I can have vassals, and yet they're all still a part of... Oh, you know what I'm thinking? It's not vassals. Um, it's... Well, oh God, I don't know. Are there people who... who yeah, look. Do. Of, uh... Well, his opinion is negative 42. Why would that be? Does it have to do... Yeah, medium crown authority. Alright. Imperial administration. I don't think I can do anything about that. Title claimant. He doesn't have any titles? No, he, uh, he does. Oh, he's ambition. Minus 50. Well, uh, that's a bummer. He does... How much does he... He's negative 42. That's pretty bad. Short reign, title claimant, liege is arbitrary, liege is craven. Is this guy... he's diligent. Is that the opposite of craven? I don't think it is. Maybe it is diligent and craven. I gotta be honest though, I don't blame him for feeling that way about this guy, because this guy freaking sucks. This guy sucks so much and his son is no better. Um, he doesn't even have a kid yet, does he? Does this guy have a kid? No. No, wait, yes he does. Okay, and they're being... So who's the heir? Is it this guy here? He's age 9, he's age 6, so this guy is the heir after my heir. Um, how... Oh, siblings, that's why, okay. I was gonna say, how does my 16-year-old son have a 9-year-old son and a 13-year-old daughter? That don't make no sense. Okay, I should... Did I play... I, I think I paused it on accident. Get over there, guys. Come on, chop chop. Oh, chop chop. That might be what I wanted to say. Hmm. What a thought. What an idea. I don't see any of this guy's armies, so... I don't know, I'm kind of thinking as soon as my armies get together here, I'm just going to sort of march him into his territory and start besieging the land. Doesn't sound bad. What's this? We can call in allies. Invasion of Armenia is... Who am I calling? King Bagrat. Haven't I just called him? He doesn't like me very much. Just versus arbitrary, brave versus craven. That freaking sucks. Oh, that's why it pauses itself and these pop up. That's why. Uh, my Basilius, I'm pleased to report to you the majority of the population in Nicopolis has been converted to the Orthodox faith. Your humble vassal, Bishop Sabas, of this place. Wonderful, excellent, Orthodox. Bagrationi. Hmm, look at that. 
Wonderful. So I can go ahead and call this guy in. Eh, we'll see if he wants it. Want to join the war? Conquer some land? Chicago Bulls over here. Who are these guys? To the lecherous clubfoot Constantinos, your low character is the subject of Greek plays. We unfortunately cannot join your wars at this time. Alright, remind me to never invite you to my, my dinner parties ever again. Stay out of the Byzantine Empire. Let's go ahead and merge all these guys together. I think that might be a good idea. Uh, maybe. Oh, look at this. Perfect. Oh my god. Maybe I should send my son instead. I'm thinking... Look, guys. Look. This isn't gonna go well. Although, you know what? I kinda need this guy out of the way. It's wise. He's making a good... He's, he's putting on a good show. Good on you, Mr. Constantinos. Get on over to a desk. Get on over... Oh, no. Time to raise the vassal levies. Vassal levies come to me. <gasps> Everyone. Oh, this is not good. Look at this crud. Oh, this is a bunch of crud. Alright, everybody. Freaking everybody. Get over here. Now! Oh my god, look at all my freaking vassal levies. I hope this doesn't make my vassals hate me. That would suck real bad. So, is it better to have one big, ginormous army? I don't think I... Can I just march these guys across the sea? I wouldn't mind that. God, that'd be nice. These are all mine? Holy freaking cow. Never have I seen such a spelling diverse sight. Never. In all my years. Look, I have even more. Good God. Look at all these guys. Jeez. That guy better rethink his proposal, man. He wants to be on my good side. Dangerous factions. Oh, no. Lower crown authority in the Byzantine Empire. I kind of wouldn't have a problem with that. Independence. This is not good. How do I make you happier? You. Oh, no. Look at all the backers. Lower crown authority. I kind of wouldn't mind that. I don't know why I've got medium crown authority in the first place. I'm not sure what happens if I don't lower the crown authority. You! Who are you? You're my vassal? You know what you could use. You look like you need to become orthodox. What is wrong with you? Who is this? What is he? He's Maya Fisit. Or whatever. He's happy that he... He's happy about our technology. Oh, he's happy about defending versus foreigners. He's happy about the state diplomacy. He's not a fan of the medium crown authority. He doesn't like that either he or I are a foreigner. And since I own the Byzantine Empire, that makes him the foreigner. So he's a foreigner, which means he doesn't like me. That's kind of weird. Then get out. If you don't like me because you're a foreigner. Okay, whatever. You guy... Would you be interested in going to prison? Man, nah, I'm not gonna bother. An honorary title. You know what you could be? <laughs> Maybe my court jester. What's an anti- Anti is a Greek for proconsul. Office no longer denotes a provincial governor, but is purely honorary. Get a plus ten opinion of me. Man, I feel like I should only be giving these out to really important people. And seeing this guy, how he's threatening to secede, he kind of makes him important. I've actually got four of these to give out. So, sure, go ahead. Be my Antipatos. How do y'all write them apples, Mr. Duvaram of Mesopotamia? He now likes me seven. Defeat. Well, that's not bloody well surprising. I need a fleet. Let's go ahead and raise a fleet. Um, I literally just need one single fleet. Can I get one fleet? Yeah. Each fleet. Perfect. Now you all 
Oh, you're actually on your way. All right, good. Okay, sweet. Okay, my fleet's coming over. These guys are gonna go ahead and uh, you there. Enter my fleet. I do declare. I dare it. Is he gonna do it? Um. Hang on. Oh god, this computer is the worst. Is there a way to do this? What's this crud? Way anchor? Oh no, there they go. Alright, there. Okay, what have we got? Lately, I have become afraid that someone might want to hurt me. I'm thinking about hiring a... No, two food tasters. And maybe a bodyguard would be a good idea. Um, oh, look at this. I won't let fear rule my life. He becomes trusting. Or, food tasters, bodyguards, anything that can save me. He becomes paranoid. Oh, I might as well. I mean, what else? Trusting? Nah. Intrigue is the way to go. They are out to get me. I've gained the paranoid trait. Good, good. Okay, is this guy on his way? Wonderful. Okay, god dang, 8 frames per second, you're freaking kidding me, this computer is just being fried. Uh, oh, get over here guys. Meanwhile, these guys are still stuck over here. How are things going? Are they arriving? Where are my mortal brutal enemies? Oh, look at this, glorious. Enter their land, I do. I declare it. Yes, indeed. Do this now for me. Oh, look at this. We are going to have such a mighty battle. It will be so mighty. And splendid. It will be so good. Who are you? Get to the fight, soldier! Move it! Oh, look at this crud. Look at... That's not looking good. That's really not looking good. Okay, well... Whoa, it's 20-something thousand. Get out! Leave! Leave! Flee! Flee for your lives! Oh my god! How many frames per second was that? One? Maybe two? Um, oh, I'm not even clicking the right button, that's why. In the chaos of battle, your men have managed to corner... Oh, nice! Bear rod! So I got a bad guy. Okay, defeat once again. Yeah, that's not particularly surprising. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. I didn't see all 20,000 dudes here. Everybody, get over here. I think I've lost this war. And I sort of feel like that's gonna be it. Thank you. Uh... Get over here, guys. Please. Oh, this is brutal, man. Look at this epic battle. This is not going my way. Not even close. We're dead. Where did all my armies go? Like, seriously, what happened? Didn't I just have people going all across the land here? And here comes this guy with his, like, 25,000... Are you guys gonna board this ship or something? Please do so. Please board the freaking ship. Okay? I mean, not like it matters anymore. There's no way I can win this. So... Uh, so, uh, look, all for peace, what do you think? Uh, oh god, this is, why could, why'd they start me off in this situation? White peace, he would not take it. Surrender, he would take a surrender. And the peasants have revolted, wonderful. <laughs> okay, well, at least I've successfully surrendered to this guy. Uh, to the vivacious Basilius Constantinus. Thank you. Peace be with you. I accept your peace of offer. No, offer of peace. Wonderful. Shoot. No. Oh, no. Look how much of the land they... Ch Who are these guys? Rebels. Nice. Well, shoot, man. I hope my king dies soon, man. I freaking hate this guy. It's his fault we started this war in the first place, man. Alright, look. Let's disband everything and 
just get back to things like diplomacy. Dismiss, dismiss everything. Get rid of them. Okay, sorry about that, everybody. It wasn't really my choice. Dangerous factions. More dangerous factions. God dang! For too long, the crown has restricted our historic rights and liberties. The time has come to lower the crown authority. Submit to this demand peacefully or face the consequences. Now, uh, this guy kind of looks like the Antichrist. I don't know what's going on with his eyes, but he kind of looks like somebody I should listen to. So, let's see what happens. I will not be blackmailed. And if I choose to not do that, freaking everyone hates me. And if I choose to do so, well, he still hates me. And the crown... For 12 months, he likes me for 10... Okay. And he just receives the letter with my reply. And then what? I mean, I assume that means they're going to try to revolt or something. You know, I don't have a problem with lowering the crown authority. This guy sucks. He's a weak ruler. Dismissed for now. And open council positions. What? Why? Has inherited the duchy. Where did he go? Please stop for a second. Appoint. I need to, I need to appoint somebody with really good diplomacy skill who needs to like me. Looks like you're the guy. And hey, wouldn't you know it, I just so happen to have a an honorary title to hand out. Wouldn't you know it? What do you think? Wouldn't would you mind being my Caesar? I don't think you'd mind at all. Thank you. He still freaking hates me. God dang. Man, I all I need is for this old dude to just freaking keel over and just find his way into a Byzantine grave right now. I freaking hate this ruler, man. It's got to be said. Okay, so... These guys. All of you can basically get out. Just F off. Go away. Look at what you've done. You didn't get to your positions fast enough, and now look what's happened. These guys have taken a huge bite out of my territory. And look, the Byzantine Empire is teeny tiny now. Compared to this crud. How am I supposed to handle that? I might have picked a losing fight here. And if that's the case, maybe it's not too late to head on over to Spain and take over the Iberian Peninsula? Hmm. Hey, well look, all these little baby messages. Lower Crown Authority has been led, has been disbanded because I did so, founded by the blah blah blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then this is all just, everything is, I was kind of hoping this guy would die in battle. Freaking never happened. Well, now I know why I shouldn't have picked the Byzantine Empire. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do. I don't know what I want to do. Maybe I should make this guy my sworn enemy and just figure out how to take all of his land. I mean, look how big it is, dude. Look how much. How was I ever going to win a war against that? I need to pick on smaller dudes, like Georgia. Georgia would be pretty easy pickings. Or maybe, uh, Pecheneg. Pecheneg, okay. And who knows, what if Hungary had been wiped out. Where's Austria? Austria must be over here somewhere. Austria-Hungary. Croatia. Well, who needs Croatia when it could be part of the Byzantine Empire? And then, of course, there's uh, Duke Lija, which nobody remembers, so might as well include them. And maybe try to, maybe not make an alliance, but get on good terms with these guys. I wonder if that's possible. Alright, where is the seat of power in the Seljuk Empire? It looks like there are many seats of power, none of which is the central one. Perhaps this here. Is this you? Sultan, yes, this is you. The Victorious. Oh. Alright, what's his opinion of me? Probably freaking hates me. 
<clears throat> how can I raise his opinion of me? What? My opinion of him is 10? After he just took, like... Took... I don't know, what is that? 5... 7% of my land? A good bite out of my freaking empire? And I like him? Dude, my freaking... I hate this. This guy likes people, and the people just freaking hate him. What's the point? Man, shoot. Alright, what can we do? Sultan of Persia. <laughs> Offer vassalization. He would not take that. Um, educate child. Now that's actually kind of a big deal. Oh, I could educate his child. Is that what we were talking about? I'm not doing that. Look, they all freaking hate me. It'd be a mess. Every day the child would be kicking and screaming and I'd want to slap him, but if I do, he'll declare war on me again. I, you know, it's going to be tough. I'm not going to educate the children who freaking hate me. Alright, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try my best to keep Seljuk Empire on my good side while focusing on the west, trying to expand westward into areas like Hungary, Kiev, Pechenegg, Croatia, these areas. Uh, all with the purpose uh, in mind of just building up this whole area. Maybe take Poland too. And then go against this guy and have just a big, ugly Duke Out session. Duke Out session. Sorry. I don't know why that made me laugh. Nobody calls it a Duke Out session. We Duke it out, right? I've never heard it called a Duke Out Session. I quite like that name. I might take Georgia here too. Everybody knows. Take good old Georgia and their sweet tea. Maybe that'll do nicely for me. Um, okay, well, I just got my butt kicked. And I guess that's going to be the end of this particular video. If you like the video, um, please leave a comment, uh, rate the video, like it. Um, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.